welcome back to Virtual Storytime. I hope you've all been enjoying this warmer weather that we've been having. I know I certainly have been enjoying it. I'm so excited for spring. We've had sunshine, we've had some rain. It's been great. Let's begin today's story time right away with our opening song. Here we go. Let's all clap cause we're all here, we're all here, we're all here. Let's all clap cause we're all here, we're all here today. Wonderful. So now before we read our story, we're gonna start off with a finger play. And this one is about a little turtle. You think you can follow along with me? Great, let's do it. I had a little turtle. He lived in a box. He swam in a puddle. He climbed on the rocks. He snapped at the mosquito. He snapped at the flea. He snapped at the minnow. And he snapped at me. He caught the mosquito. He caught the flea. He caught the minnow, but he didn't catch me. Good job, everybody. You did such a good job following along with that. Now, today's story is called The Shadow Elephant. And it's about an elephant who's, well, he's very sad. So let's find out what happens. Let's begin. Some said the elephant was gloomy. Some said he was trying to hide his sadness. Some said he preferred the shadows. The animals of the savanna wanted to find a way to cheer the elephant up again. Perhaps if they told him a funny story. What do you think? Do you think the funny story will help? I don't know. Let's see. The monkey threw himself into it and told the funniest joke he knew. The one about the banana stuck in an ear. It was so silly. It got laughs every time. Not a smile, not a sound. The elephant listened attentively, but remained in the shadows. Doesn't sound like that silly joke worked, do, did it? Hmm. Next, the ostrich sisters gave it a try. They performed a dance they had invented called the Swing Can Can. The way they tensed their faces and twisted their necks was hilarious. The elephant watched them without so much as a twitch and remained in the shadows. Doesn't look like their dance worked either, huh? Seeing that the elephant did not feel like laughing, the crocodile thought a treat might perk him up. He brought him a bowl full of young acacia leaves, his favorite. That seemed really nice of him to bring a treat, right? Let's see if it worked. But that did not work either. The elephant blinked his eyes, 
sighed through his trunk and remained in the shadows. A small mouse who was scurrying by stopped out of breath. She asked the elephant, could I rest here next to you? You're not here to tell me a story? No, I'd just like to sit here for a moment. And look at that. We just have the mouse and the elephant and they're sitting together. are not here to change my mind? And the mouse says, no, but if you'd really like to know, I've walked all day trying to find a golden key that belongs to my sister. It's the most precious thing she owns. I took the key without asking, and then I lost it while playing in the savannah. I've searched and walked and searched some more. I've wandered so far that now I'm lost. I'm afraid that I'll never find the key or my way home. Uh-oh, that sounds like a big problem, doesn't it? First the mouse took something that wasn't hers, and then, well, she lost it. And now she doesn't know how to get home. Elephant sighed, gave a little hiccup, and started to cry. He cried silently, a flood of tears, like he might never stop. Seeing him, the mouse started to cry too. Drained of his tears and, well, feeling much better. The elephant took one step, then another, and emerged from the shadows. He walked slowly towards the mouse. Let's walk together. The moonlight will show us the way to your house. that. Looks like the elephant helped the mouse up onto his back. He's gonna help the mouse find her way home. On the way, I'd really like to hear your story. And that's the mouse telling the elephant that she'd like to hear his story. And then the elephant says, I can try. And then the last page here. And that's the end of that story. I hope you enjoyed that book. I think it's a beautiful story. It shows us that we all get sad at times and it's okay to be sad sometimes you know and when you get sad sometimes all you really need is to sit with somebody and when you're ready you can talk about why you feel sad you know even grown-ups get sad too sometimes and it's okay to cry when you get sad even grown-ups cry when we get sad all right so before we go i have one more thing for you i have a flannel board and this flannel board is about ladybugs. So let's go over and do that. 
All right, let's see what these five little ladybugs are up to. Five little ladybugs climbing up a door. One flew away. And then there were four. See? One, two, three, four. Four little ladybugs sitting on a tree. One flew away. And then there were three. One, two, three. Three little ladybugs landed on a shoe. One flew away. And then there were two. One, two. Two little ladybugs looking for some fun. One flew away. And then there was one. See, just one little ladybug left. One little ladybug sitting in the sun. She flew away and then there were none. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this story time. Our story was a little bit different than some of the usual things that we read, but that's okay. That can be a good thing. So I will link a craft down in the description, as always. Let's finish off their closing song. We'll get our waving hands up. Here we go. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye.